welcome back to my channel and your solo travel girl hits again. I'm here in Budapest airport and I'm still waiting for my boarding time and in an hour I'll be going to Prague. Uh, I'll only have maybe like seven hours there. It's like a day trip only. So I hope it goes well. I'll take you guys with me and please don't get bothered by my pimple I just decided to prick the pimple hours before my flight so. and I couldn't cover it with makeup because I already packed my makeup and the checked-in baggage so. I just have the pimple patch in it so yeah see you in Prague Okay, cannot hear me. Yes, I'm here in Prague and I decided to just take the public transport, which is the bus. They have buses and metros here and I purchased this ticket. This is good for 24 hours. Um, it cost 110 corona, or that's the currency, or like maybe like five five euros so I'm waiting for the bus 100 uh, because I'm going to the floor flooring I don't know how to pronounce that one uh, bus station I will leave my luggage there uh, and then I'll start exploring the city so I hope this is 100 no this is not the 100 bus so see you guys later Last bus stop is the Zlitschin station. Then from that, uh, there's the metro going to Florence. So I managed to get on the metro. So let's go. So I have left my luggage here at the bus terminal. And that is only your option if you are just going to be here in a day trip. So you're not going to book a hotel, so you will not have any anywhere to leave your bag. So um, one baggage will cost around three euros. So two, I have two bags, so I paid six euros for it. But that's for the whole day already. And I'm so hungry. I got some like sandwich, sausage, sandwich, something like this in the store, and I'll just eat. Then I'll start my day. of the historic buildings here but this one here like across the street um, I saw this in one of the blogs so I recognize finally I recognize something <laughs> we'll read it I think okay no there is no English translation but I'll just flip the camera. It's, it's not in English. Okay, I 
think this is a theater. Yeah, I'm correct. This is a theater. So disclaimer, I really don't know where to go here. I had a map. I have a map. Um, someone gave this to me at the airport, but it's not in English. So I really couldn't understand or could navigate myself. I just actually randomly just pick streets then go from there and luckily I found something like that theater back there and now in front of me it's, it's like a market it's a flea market so check this out So I already got myself some fish minutes. It costs 25 crowns or one each. So I saw Starbucks. No, I don't want to drink coffee, but I'm collecting Starbucks mugs. So that means. I'm going to get myself broke in Europe buying souvenirs, but that's okay. That's cool. Trying to, I did ask where to head if I'm going to want to see the anatomical clock and the Charles Bridge, and she said that I need to take the tram, and she said something about the name of the station. I just couldn't get it, but we'll see. <laughs> Take the trap now. I asked someone because I wanted to go to the dancing house and she said it's just nearby so yeah don't hesitate to ask especially so my phone is dying so I switched to the cannon so this will be quite shaky so I'm just following the river because the lady said just go to the river and turn right so I hope to locate the dancing house I can see the dancing house it's right across the river that's the one Let's go! And now, walking towards Charles Bridge and the anatomical clock. It's getting colder. Colder and colder.
we're at a bus station and I just had to grab some something to eat so I decided to get a McDonald's and I still have enough time actually before checking in on the bus station so I think I'm just gonna rest and eat my McDonald's already in the bus going to Berlin and that's it for this vlog I know it's very short but I'm glad I did take this route and I enjoyed Prague so beautiful even if it's so cold um, that's it and I'll see you in my Berlin vlog so bye